The airport director tells us the improvements will make the airport safer for aircrafts while creating the opportunity for new jobs. Sabrina Salinas was born and raised in Brownsville, Texas. She has an interest in street art. She moved just last year. No, now I reside in uh, Seattle, Washington, but I, my home is here in Brownsville. She says what she misses most about Brownsville, Texas is her family. We caught her at the very end of her most recent visit home. She tells us she hopes the new airport expansion will allow her to see her family more often. Next year, I think it, it's more, it's a good idea, especially just connecting families, connecting businesses, commerce, everything. We spoke to Brownsville South Padre Island International Airport Director of Aviation Bryant Walker. He tells us upgrades to the terminal aren't simply cosmetic. Port terminal also is going to be expanded, so um, to do that we have to build a brand new terminal. This terminal is undersized, it doesn't meet the capacity needs or the throughput of TSA, and it doesn't meet the regulatory requirements of the CBP, uh, Customs and Border Patrol. Walker says next month the last several designs for the new terminal will be presented to both city commissioners and the public to be voted on. He explains the airport expects to break ground on the new terminal next spring. Twelve months after the completion of the new terminal, the airport plans to extend the runway by 2,600 feet. So the runway expansion um, extends the runway initially from 7,400 feet to 10,000 feet. The purpose of this expansion is to increase safety both of the safety areas around the runway and the longer the runway the safer it is for the aircraft. It gives them more stopping distance and, um, and basically more area to operate within. He explains the total cost of the new terminal and runway combined is estimated at approximately 85 million dollars. After each project is complete the city expects to receive a reimbursement of anywhere from 80 to 90 percent of those funds from the Federal Aviation Administration. Salinas tells us she is looking forward to seeing the growth of her hometown airport. Walker also mentioned that according to a UTRGV study, the upgrades to the airport will create approximately 300 new jobs during construction and 150 new permanent jobs. Reporting live in Brownsville, I'm Trace Bragg, Channel 5 News at 6.